Hey guys, it's Sam from Inventables. Today I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape to make a keychain that has um, both raster and vector uh, shapes on it. So the way we're going to start off is by opening Inkscape. Um, it's free and it's a vector program. Um, so it easily allows you to create SVGs that then you SVG files that you can then um, cut out on the laser cutter. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, Document Properties, and the default properties are in pixels, which can be kind of confusing to work in. I'm going to change it to inches. Feel free to change it to um, millimeters or centimeters or whatever unit you feel comfortable working in. So I'm going to change both the default units and the units to inches. And then the laser bed that I am working with is a 20 by 12 full spectrum laser. Um, so you can change the width and the height here to whatever um, the constraints of your the laser that you're using it are. So once you're done with that, you can X out here. And then this is the full size of your printing bed. Um, I'm going to make a keychain that's about two inches by about one inch. You can click over to the square tool here and drag out a shape um, using the guides at the top and the side to kind of dictate your size. Um, if you want to make this square exactly a size, you can click over to this tool here and manually type in the width um, and the height. You can also click over to um, the edits path by nodes tool. And what that's going to allow you to do is you have um, a couple variables here. You could change the size by um, grabbing any of these squares in the corner. Um, you can also uh, grab these circles here and that's what allows you to make a, a rectangle into a rounded rectangle by manipulating those points. So now, right now you have like this black rectangle, and in order to vector cut it, uh, vector cutting is following the outside toolpath where the, the laser head will follow a line. So we want to make this into a line instead of a filled shape. So the way you do that is to, um, down here you'll see fill and stroke when you have something highlighted. If you double click on any of those, it's going to open up this box on the side here, fill, stroke, and stroke style. So first we're going to go to fill. Uh, here you see it's highlighted um, this square here. We want to hit this X and that's going to say no fill. Then you could uh, switch over to stroke and then we want that to be filled. And then here you can manipulate the color. I'm going to keep it a black for right now. And then you can go to the stroke uh, style. And here we're actually going to want to change the uh, inches uh, preset to pixels. And then we want to say 0.1 pixels is um, the line width for vector cutting. You can do, um, if you did a larger uh, stroke weight, it would come up, it would register as both a raster line and a vector line. So in order to have uh, the laser understand a line as something that it's just going to follow and cut out, you want it to be 0.1 pixels. So now I want to add the circle, which is where the keychain is going to, uh, the actual loop of the keychain will fit. So I'm going to draw a circle here, and then um, once I have the select tool, I'm going to I'm going to say it needs to be um, an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to manually type in 0.125 for the width and the height. And then I'm going to um, I'm going to use some text. Um, you can choose to write your name or write something else or pull in an image if you want. So I'm going to write a raster here. And what a raster file does is the laser follows a horizontal pattern. It prints basically like an inkjet printer, um, but it's rastering out. So where you see black here, that entire area is going to be laser engraved on the top. So I'm going to change the font here. You should be able to double click on it. Um, to something fun. You can change the size here and then drop this approximately where you want it. And then I'm also going to write 
vector. And then same thing, I'm going to pick a font. A little bigger than that. And drop that into place. So let's say you want to make these evenly spaced. A quick way to do that, which is a pretty nice um, quality in Inkscape, is you can highlight everything that you want centered, go to Object, and Align and Distribute. And then um, this function here, distribute centers equidistant vertically. What that's going to do is kind of what it says. These are all now separated vertically. Um, from It's all equidistant. So let's say now you want to make this centered with the whole shape. You can click the outside shape first, then that circle, and say align with the center. So now these are specialty fonts. So if you want to open this into the, the computer that you're um, going to be laser cutting from, you might get a box that says this font is not on this computer and it's going to make it default to um, whatever the default font is on that computer. So the way to avoid that is to actually turn the font into an image. So you do that by highlighting or just clicking on the word that you want to convert to an image and go to path and then object to path. So that's going to turn uh, all of these letters, if you hit ungroup, um, into individual paths. So if you hit this tool, the um, edit path tool, you can edit your path. So let's say you wanted to make a custom font um, or do whatever. If you wanted to change it a little bit, you can do that. Um, in this case, I don't want to do that. But it gives you that freedom because now it's all an image instead of an actual font. But that also means like if you made a spelling mistake, you couldn't go back and change it. You'd have to um, make a new text box and type it in again. So with the vectoring, um, right now, the way this is filled, it would actually be a raster function. So the way that we want to change that is to highlight that, go to uh, path, object to path, and then go back to this fill, double click on fill. We want to say no fill, a stroke weight of, remember to change that to pixels, a stroke weight of 0.1. So now that looks like uh, the circle and the rounded rectangle here. Um, we want to make it a different color because we're going to engrave this and cut this out. Um, the last thing you want to do is put a circle in this upper left-hand corner. And you want that to be filled. And what that's going to do is be a registration mark for the rastering. Basically what that means is um, on the FS laser program, your rastering function happens first, and then your, your vector function. So if you don't have a point of registration, uh, your two functions might not line up on the same piece of material. So just dropping a shape in there, um, something really small that would raster quickly, will just help uh, make sure that your vector and raster appears the way it does um, on your file, on your actual piece of material. So now this is all you need uh, to make your own keychain. Remember that you can write whatever you want. Um, you can just do raster, just doing uh, vector engraving. Um, but this should cover the basics. Um, also remember that you can edit the pixels to make it even more custom. So the next video is going to be pulling it, this file into the FS Laser um, uh, program. So if you have an FS laser, feel free to follow along. If you have a different laser program, all these files should uh, still work. Um, what you're going to want to do is save it as an SVG file.